Rob Wojcik shows us baseball Barry Blewett in the bottom of the ninth. Rob. Sherry and Huell, this guy got himself into a game of pickle and he got tagged. Is he just a bench warmer when it comes to business or did he throw the game? Batter up. Barry, why don't you just answer the question? Barry's his name, baseball's his game. Come on, Barry. Fill me in, man. Barry claims to be a baseball big shot. Claimed that he played uh, minor league ball, played all this ball, all state this, all state that. I saw him swing the bat, and I guess I wasn't that impressed. He may not have been much of a hitter, but his ex-clients say he knew a lot about stealing. He was intentionally scamming us. I think he's a scam artist, a habitual liar, and he believes those lies. Welcome to the big leagues, Barry. I'm the manager of this store. I'm asking you to leave right now. About a year ago, a guy named Barry Sheets rented some space at this indoor baseball facility to start his own youth league and training program. He called it Arsenal Baseball. Coach Sheets claimed to be a graduate of the U.S. Military Academy at West Point with degrees in kinesiology and exercise science. Barry signed his letters with an MS, Master of Science, and CSCS, which stands for Certified Strength and Conditioning Specialist. He said he was an ex-ball player, but left the expensive training sessions up to college assistants Barry hired to give the kids lessons. It cost each team $1,000 to join Barry's league, and there were lots of teams. And players shelled out big bucks for Barry's clinics. And while the games were a hit, Barry was striking out with everyone who worked with him. How many checks did he write you that were bad? Three. Jesse was an up. 40 bucks a game may not sound like much, but for Jesse, it was his income for the summer. For other umpires, it was a labor of love. Robert showed up for every game. 45 minutes early, shoes shine, clothes pressed. His checks bounced, too. You ever had anything like this happen before? Never. Chuck was head of the Arsenal umpire staff. So I'm, I'm speaking for four, four guys, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, seven checks, total of $1,300 involved. Some of the checks were returned for non-sufficient funds. Others were written on a closed bank account. Even though they weren't getting paid, the umps still showed up for the games out of respect for the parents and the kids. The guys Barry hired to work in his Arsenal training center got burned, too. He'd say the checks are going to be here next week and you're going to get paid next week, I promise, and then the checks were never there. Even the coaches struck out. So all of said and done, it's probably eight to $900 that I'm out because of the scam. But the biggest bill Barry dodged was for the Arsenal facility. The landlord says Barry owes him close to 20 grand. But that's not the new for Barry Sheets. Turns out Barry owes lots of people money. He's already filed for bankruptcy twice. His degree at West Point, a fake. Other degrees, fake. His certification, that's fake too. While everyone tried their best to keep the league going for the kids' sake, by the end of the season last year, they were ready to get Barry. But Barry was long gone. A report was filed with the Wald Lake Police, but Barry had disappeared and no one knew where he was until this profile turned up on a dating site. That's Bad Check Barry, apparently living in Midland, Michigan. He describes himself as being highly spiritual. But my favorite part of Barry's profile is this. The one thing I wish more people would notice about me, Barry says, my intellect. Spelled wrong. I went to Barry's parents' home in Midland in mid-January. There's Barry's car, and we catch a glimpse of him in the house. Barry, it's Rob Walchek from Fox 2. Can you talk to me? No response, except from this guy who I'm not interested in meeting. Yikes. Barry doesn't want to play ball, so he makes a call to the bullpen. Out comes this big unit. He doesn't want to talk to you guys. He's throwing the same junk well, Barry was. How come? So he doesn't want to talk to you. Barry thinks he's safe. But a few months later, we catch him taking a big lead in Battle Creek. The runner's going. Barry, come talk to me. And he slides into the mall. Apparently, Baseball Barry's got a new gig, selling vitamins. Here he is helping my undercover cameraman. Poor Barry. He doesn't know I'm on deck. Hey, Barry. Guys, I'm in the middle of work. Okay, we'll wait. Can we talk to you? I'm working. Okay. Well, I need to talk to you about some stuff. You know, I've been trying to reach you. 
Excuse me while I get into security. Here we go again. Barry's looking for another cop to save him. A mall cop. But this time, he strikes out. What about all these people that say that you walked out on them and you won't talk to them? There's no mall security here, man. Barry, why don't you just answer the questions? We follow Barry back to his shop. You're shaking, Barry. Gee, looks like Barry needs to put the mall cops on speed dial. Don't be scared. I'm just a TV guy. Barry Sheets. This is one baseball legend not headed for Cooperstown. <sighs> Barry, looks like you whiffed. You're in the Hall of Shame. I spoke with a detective from the Wall Lake Police Department today, and he says they've submitted their investigation to the prosecutor for warrants. The cops believe Barry committed a crime, but it's up to the Oakland County Prosecutor's Office to decide whether Barry was intentionally writing bad checks or just accidentally dropped the ball. Yeah, Rob, we saw you try like heck to, <laughs> to talk to him, but did he have anything to say to you? Barry didn't say anything yeah. at all to me. I mean, I chased this guy, went to his house, his mom's house. I tried to get him in the parking lot. I walked around. He never said anything. He never answered any of my questions. He has promised some of the people that he was going to pay them back, but so far those promises have been non-untrue. All balls, all right. no strikes. That's right. There you go. <laughs> all right, Rob. Thank you.